Okay, I'm going to demonstrate this system uh, with Open Broadcaster and what I'm trying to show here is the ability to play back media files despite the fact that Open Broadcaster isn't really uh, aimed at that um, but we're going to use its uh, monitor capture uh, facility for that purpose. Now the setup I've got here is is kind of an example but it's not the final setup the final setup will be taking video through an intensity pro card into a full-size tower because uh, the cards are PCI card um, and then we'll be doing all the work from there but this demo just uses this notebook PC it's quite a fast one it's an i7 and it is also set to run flat out and the um, because it needs to be because if you try and do um, screen captures with anything other than flat out speed on the processor it'll all crash so what I've set up is uh, a secondary monitor here the secondary monitor so it's an extended desktop the nice thing about secondary monitor is that if you run a program in that and run it full screen it goes full screen within the secondary monitor but doesn't bleed into the main monitor and this means that we can use the uh, screen capture of Open Broadcaster to capture the complete secondary monitor, which is a lot better than trying to run uh, the uh, thing, run the media player in the corner of the main admin screen and then trying to use the um, monitor capture with a, some kind of crop because you're never going to get that right from time to time things are going to move it's going to go wrong so the secondary monitor is fine now I've just uh, you won't be able to see this here because it's too small but basically I've what I've set the options in the uh, media player home cinema which I'm using which is quite a good player because it deals with all sorts of different uh, formats now I've set the playback to play once and not to rewind so uh, that should and I'll apply that and do OK now I've got that set flat out and I'm going to do stop and I'm going to do a quick play and then a pause. So now I've got the and I've got the um, format of the headers on these video clips or this particular one clip so that the first second I've got a very large description of what the thing is and how long it is uh, just to make sure I've got the right thing queued up. Then I've got one second counts going three two then blank for one second and then straight into the material I've also I'm also using this external sound box here which allows me to take the sound from the computer which is effectively the soundtrack of the video clip bring it out to the the audio mixer and have complete control over it on its own fader uh, as I've got complete control over this uh, microphone which you can hear going up and down uh, which I'll take out when the uh, the media is playing uh, and then inject it back into the system uh, that then appears in the uh, open broadcaster as as the kind of microphone input although it's actually a line input and I don't use this um, this facility to capture the uh, sound out from the computer because I don't find that is going to be very controllable that you switch it on and off but you can't get a nice fade on it or anything like that and um, yeah I, I, I've decided to use this thing instead the other thing is um, that the computer is obviously running with all its in all its um, standard system sound switched off so you don't get any beeps and boops as you're trying to uh, click the mouse or whatever so that should be quite clean so let's try a bit here now I'm going to start recording because I've got the open broadcaster set up for record only and uh, so I'm going to start it recording now I've got a, a setup layered here on this on this demo scene um, I've got uh, right at the top uh, the sponsors logo which we can always cut to um, as a desperation if anything goes wrong with the video feeds or the um, uh, or the media playing the monitor grab uh, then I've got this well I'm using an ex external webcam here just to show you some moving live video but in fact this will be coming in through the intensity card from the uh, field cameras or the interview camera uh, and then underneath that I've got the secondary monitor grab so assuming we want to go uh, from the well we might 
um, go through a still before we run the monitor. So I've got my hands on the faders ready to go um, and I would assume a sound person will be running this, the sound only, and that the webmaster will be running the software. But I'm doing both at once here, so there we go. Um, sorry about the sound the, uh, from this microphone, by the way, because it's picking up the fans on the uh, on the um, computer, which are whirring away like mad. So we'd probably say cut to uh, the sponsor's logo, take out the external webcam that we don't want to see, and then what we're going to do is to, to run the the external clip on the monitor. I'm ready to turn the sound up. So let's run that. Three, two, one. Right, let's bring that down for the moment. Uh, but obviously I would take off um, I would take off my microphone during that process. Now we've finally got to the end uh, and so we're going to go back oh, I've messed up my clicking it twice there but we're going to go back to the um, uh, to the external webcam with a live video so I've arranged for there to be about uh, four seconds of black at the end to give a chance to uh, get rid of the thing. We might extend that and put 10 seconds of black at the end of each clip just to make sure that uh, we don't get caught out there. I want to say black, it's basically whatever the background is for the system. Okay, so I'm now going to stop recording because we've, uh, we've done what we need to do. We've demonstrated that uh, video playing. Here we go. So we'll now just play back um, full screen on this video, uh, the captured video that uh, we've got from this little session. So we'd probably say cut to uh, the sponsor's logo, take out the external webcam that we don't want to see, and then what we're going to do is to, to run the, the external clip on the monitor. I'm ready to turn the sound up. So let's run that. Three, two, one. Right, let's bring that down for the moment. Uh, but obviously I would take off um, I would take off my microphone during that process. Now we've finally got to the end uh, and so we're going to go back oh, I've messed up my clicking it twice there but we're going to go back to the um, uh, to the external webcam with a live video so I've arranged for there to be about uh, four seconds of black at the end to give a chance to uh, get rid of the thing. We might extend that and put 10 seconds of black at the end of each clip just to make sure that uh, we don't get caught out there. I want to say black, it's basically whatever the background is for the system. Okay, so I'm now going to stop recording because we've, uh, we've done what we need to do. We've demonstrated that uh, video playing. Here we go.